February the 15th, 2024 it is, and this is related to postal delivery of what you see I have started to build on February the 6th of 2024. Uh, it rather was related to uh, other item you don't see on here. Uh, and all other items that were stolen from me, modified, uh, delivered already items that were long, long ago already discontinued. Uh, in the Poland, for instance, I got, instead of hard drive, a backpack I did not order. You know, I really needed the hard drive to save myself. Uh, and instead, it was the fucking backpack that was uh, delivered and so on. I got backpacks that were 20 years old, probably in a mail when I delivered them from abroad to Slovenia. Um, I got shoes stolen in Belarus when I ordered them. Uh, Slovenian police have just stolen the shoes and what I was told during MK Ultra. Uh, they have given them as a gift to other asylum seekers in Belarus and stuff like that. Uh, I got a tablet stolen by the Slovenian police and replaced with some fucked up uh, tablet, smaller, nothing that I ordered. None of that would fit description to what I ordered. Uh, I have probably got about, I've probably gotten about beginning the 2006 and as you see i'm not short of almost last 20 years of life whenever i used postal services in slovenia to order from abroad uh well over i think well over 300 uh, different items uh that would come destroyed modified broken damaged, used, worn out, discontinued, uh, and or were also used to make me see what in reality was not. Uh, police would even verify items that would have anything from their own police officers that would use order, uh, order from abroad they would confiscate their items, examine them first, then they would return them unless they would think there is something really interesting about them. And based on the brainwash, they would demand me basically to self-discredit myself in front of the people throughout the world, basically making crazy statements. And that's what police violence, which barricaded police, Slovenian police, which would barricade itself inside of our house, uh, would use one for basically to do parents, family to do this kind of stuff and um, what can I say the Prince Charles took initiative in this particular watch by taking me literally to Hungary to the Budapest where he would flash in front of the Hungarian politicians as well as Hungarian postal offices guaranteeing me how I will never ever receive the watch I ordered on January the 7th of 2024. This is the watch right here that you see. Yes, this is the watch. Um, He used Slovenian politicians, uh, next to Hungarian politicians, for torture purposes. Uh, and uh, demanded for me to make crazy statements on the internet. Something he was using, a uh, Slovenian police uh, psychiatrist. A criminal that you see here. They all are criminals. These are criminals. These are obviously criminals. We are not talking about any police here. Uh, if you are a police officer from abroad, if you are a psychiatrist, uh, you are going to get probably fucked.
because of the people like this. They make you look like a shit in front of the world each day, every fucking day. I am, of course, not responsible for your incompetence, for your inability to deal with legal issues, and thus, through the English language, am communicating the truth to the people whom you serve as a defender of mental health uh, and or even uh, public order, law and order, if you're a law enforcement officer. Uh, I frankly, even that I wanted to become a police officer all my life, uh, in the United States, don't give a three fuck about you because you, by allowing this shit to go on, and you did, you actually trained this idiot to do stuff like this. You, you in the United States of America, Central Intelligence Agency, you in Britain, MI5, you demanded this terrorist to engage something that he became deputized to participate in this crime that you created, that you called, that you demanded from me to refer to as an MKUltra uh, since my childhood. So there is no there is no reason to allow idiotine like this to misguide the world use his license basically to represent you unless of course uh, you too are mentally retarded as a psychiatrist or police officer there must be something fucking wrong with you for you to allow your governments to allow this shit to go on and even give him assistance to go on with stuff like this you know what i mean i mean aren't you ashamed to wear this police uniform or appear yourself at a hospital or in the office, private clinic, whatever is it, watching my program, knowing that I requested help from the psychiatric association, uh, from several psychiatric associations, warned them about what goes on in this Slovenian shithole, uh, and have absolutely done nothing other than ignore the whole thing. I mean, you should be. You should be. What are details if I give you, if we go back to the tracking of this package, of the evident here, I presented you already with, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm not going to read this because I already feel I'm an idiot. I feel already like an idiot. I feel that just as Americans have suggested me uh, British have suggested me I would suffer post-traumatic disorder syndrome. I feel I'm not too far from it. Because this is what my life was, you know. In a childhood, the British royals would pay uh, police to destroy me. Whatever I would get, watches, shoes, whatever, whatever the fuck I would get, it really didn't have any meaning. It didn't have absolutely any value other than uh, simply anticipate, wait in, wait in, uh, in anticipation of having stolen it, destroyed, broken, ripped apart next to the torture that went on beginning when I was nine months old. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I clarify this issue already. I am going to go from within. This, uh, what is this here? This should be already. The customs already, everything was already cleared on. Uh, this probably was even cleared in Hungary. Who the hell knows? Because uh, it did go through the Budapest, you know? So, from the Hungary, it went straight to Slovenia. No, the clearing customs in Slovenia went through 
probably departed from custom the same day in Budapest. This is Budapest. This is probably Ljubljana or Maribor in Slovenia already. Uh, and then either from Slovenian Maribor or Ljubljana. That's basically from January the 14th, 2024. We had well over one month, nothing, bullying basically, intimidating at a postal office by the postal workers, uh, laughing basically in my face, uh, of course, giving me bizarre items to sign for uh, accordingly with instructions I received during a torture they performed inside of this house and also at the postal office, around postal office. Um, allow themselves even what you are about to see next. Not only claiming me that I would never get this item, but allowing themselves what you're about to see next. Uh, this, however, is allowed. It's not allowed to video record inside. Uh, however, it is allowed to record from the outside. And this is something police did not uh, know. She checked this side here, which is this side here, and there is just a wall. At the front, right? At the front. She would not go, in other words, in the rear to the room that is behind the uh, area where they serve clients. Uh, what I was told by a psychiatrist, Kapsch, would be solely reserved for the letters I would receive from the court, from the police, uh, psychiatry, and so on. And so, therefore, she did not check the area where she should have checked. Um, that was the area basically behind her, you know, because she was right there straight. And there is a room next door behind that she should go and check. She did not. Yeah, it is not allowed to video record inside, but outside it is allowed. Um, uh, I'm to have you. Is allowed. It's not allowed to video record inside. Uh, would you imagine that you would have some crazy demented fuck next to stealing your packages, uh, telling you that uh, you will have to prove that there will be no package for you, in fact, uh, that you will also have to prove that with the audio recordings, actually, that not only by the postal office uh, workers, by, by the local police here, employees at the local police barricaded inside of this house, at the postal office, uh, tell you in the face that you will have to first submit a video recordings, all the video recordings that you have uh, gathered uh, by visiting postal office uh, through which you will prove that uh, the postal office workers in fact have instructed you that at the front not instructed you, tortured you, torment you. You know that I was in the psychi psychiatric hospital, thrown into the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, and uh, the pills were used to literally destroy my kidneys and liver. Uh, the pain was unbearable. It was a, such a pain that I would have a saliva running out of my mouth and barely I could move, walk. You know, I struggled to stay alive. I asked my mom to tie me to the bed because of the injuries, because of the pain I endured. And that pain was all done based on poisoning, which they introduced in MK Ultra with the idea to destroy me, to destroy lymph nodes, to destroy liver, kidney, uh, to intestine, colon, uh, I have spoken about those issues already. And so when you're thrown on a psychiatric pills like I was, you have no idea what that can do to the body. Huh? Um, 
Can you imagine they have used these issues to instruct me? Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, yes. Uh, this cretin that you see right there, who was supported, financed, by the Central Intelligence Agency, American Central Intelligence Agency, empowered, trained by them on how to torture, physically abuse and torture uh, by the British MI5, by the British Royals, uh, trained literally by the London Psychiatric Association on what, how they expect this crime to look like. Uh, have demanded from me to see, based on a torture which was done later at the postal office by the postal workers and police, uh, basically Uh, this, however, is allowed. It's not allowed to video record inside. To basically see, and this is what was done to me, yes, when I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital of Napoli, I would come here before I was thrown. Uh, whenever I would order something from the internet, I would come to pick it up here. And it would be this beasts here that work at this postal office that would laugh at me, uh, and would go, and accordingly to the torture instructions, they would go to the area for which they instructed me, which is the one you see here. Yeah, this is uh, quite a deal, actually. Uh, they instructed me that uh, whenever it's going to be something to sign from uh, Slovenian psychiatry or a psychiatric hospital or court is going to be up front, uh, in fact, is going to be stored in the box. Uh, then they make another issue. There was a box next to it. They were playing with this issue that this, this was where the packages would be. Uh, in this area here up front is where they would have uh, legal letters for me. Uh, then they started to harass that uh, the packages would be solely in the back room. Yeah, and so when it comes to this watch, can you imagine that I was uh, brainwashed by this uh, maniac here that you see to eventually Submit to get this watch to get this watch literally you don't even treat a little boy like this right and I am 52 years old I hope you realize I'm 52 can you imagine that uh, this psychopath have demanded from me to uh, submit proofs about not only about the theory they have given me how uh, stuff that I have just explained to you here, uh, but also the theory that was used at large to harass me with, you know, uh, claiming me that the packages are always sorted in the back of the postal office, right? And so they demanded for me to see them, how they walk back and forth inside of the postal office. And if it goes up front here, uh, this is basically a letter from the court or from the police or from the psychiatric hospital that are going to come to pick you up at any time. Uh, and if you see them going in the rear, that this is basically where you would go to pick up your package, your package delivery. There will be delivery from AliExpress or eBay, yes. And so they came up with the idea uh, that I would even be suspicious to the police, talking about the postal workers and also the police and the, the little fuck I demonstrated you right there. Um, demanded from me to 
Um, you know, uh, my brain, I will tell you, my brain go blank when I think about the psychiatrist. It goes blank. It goes, it goes blank. I will be honest, I will tell you that uh, I lose when I think about this individual, the stuff I'm talking to you about is what psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshire, also who was involved in it, uh, regarded as, uh, well, you know, that would be like, you know, I don't know if I could possibly deal with this kind of issues, you know. When I think about the the torture that went on inside of this home, also at the postal office, at the police station, uh, it's quite unimaginable. This isn't about what Americans claimed it's going to be post-traumatic disorder because of the packages, but it's about something else. Uh, it's about the degree of torture that these have taken place. You know, if you take 33% of the time that you spend in your house being drugged up, subjected to the physical torture every year after year after year, and you are 52 years old, that's probably not a good thing that have happened to your life. The other day I have seen the video which suggested that somebody was in coma for 10 years. Uh, this was the video that was used during MK Ultra to suggest to me that I have spent in coma, drugged up under MK Ultra, not 10 years when I see that video, but in fact, it would amount to about 15 years. And those 15 years were used for the torture, for the bestiality. Being exposed to such torture for 15 years, you have to admit it takes a whole lot to survive, right? You have to control yourself. When you see these people on the street, when you see them at the police station, when you see them out there uh, at the postal office and in daily life, it, it, it takes a whole lot to survive this kind of stuff. This is what the British royals have invested their dividends in the respect to MK Ultra. That, you know. Uh, so they demanded from me to view this, you know. Till you're going to hear me translating your recording and you will hear me asking the postal workers, how come that you did not go in the rear, in their back room, to check for the postal deliveries? And or how come that you are checking for the postal deliveries up front and not in the rear? You're going to see me asking a workers, postal offers, workers like this? Please keep in mind that this postal of uh, workers went on to harass, to intimidate, to bully based on the torture, on the physical torture that was performed at this office by these very people to suggest me that they will still not give me the watch. Even after I present you with the audio recording, which I'm about to present you with, when it dates between January the 30th of 2024 and all the way to today, which is February the 25th of 2024. They said to me, we will still not give you, even if you're going to submit the proofs about all this abuse, that you keep coming to the postal office to check for the watch, to video record, document all these items. We will still not give you the item Still, you are going to go and look for the audio recordings in which we state that deliveries from abroad are stored in the back of the postal office and not up front. And we will continue to even claim that you have abused us by asking us such questions that it will even appear strange, weird, and harassing to the police for your asking us, why don't you go and look in the back room 
or why uh, when you told me that you will be saving the packages from abroad in the in the rear room and when you told me that you will have the packages uh, legal letters and such invitations to the court to the psychiatric hospital the police stored up front uh, do you understand me what I'm trying to say? Okay, maybe it's uh, I have not explained this very well. So uh, now you know what the postal office basically what exactly I mean by the rear room, by the front. I was basically told that when I will be presenting you today's audio recording, which will range between January the 30th of 2024 and February the 15th of 2000 24 uh, it will rather appear to the police as suspicious simply because i will be asking them about how come that you don't go in the rear to check the package uh, if the package arrived and why are you checking now up front in the area where you have instructed me there will be legal letters because of this torture and it's what I was even suggested by the psychiatrist, police, to audio record these issues, to present them to the public, yeah, to present them to the public, uh, according to their views, it would actually even appear to them, uh, to the police that is investigating this matter, uh, as suspicious, as strange, uh, because nobody would go deliberately in the back to look for the package uh, and everybody would be giving a negative answer no sir we don't pick up anything from the back when it comes to the packages and so on till you are going to present therefore proof that we told you how we pick up the packages from the back from the back room mm -hmm. uh, we are not going to even give you the watch so uh, you don't even treat the child like this um, I think I saved to Slovenia a lot of money. I think that being un forcefully unemployed throughout my life, uh, and um, I, I, I think I already suggested uh, how much money I, what Slovenia had done to me financially, what kind of stuff this I dealt with, next to the forced unemployment, uh, psychiatry and so on. I would not go into it. They told me basically like this. When you're going to be young, it's going to be a psychiatry, this stuff is going to be like this. When you will get old, uh, basically, when you will be healthy and okay, it's going to be like this. You know, when you're going to get old and fucked up, and they did everything to fuck me up, uh, then that, that's going to be the money and stuff like that, right? So this is basically the way they did. So, you know, there are different ways to kill person. Um... Uh, I don't know if you want to support this type of uh, business as a psychiatrist, as a law enforcement officer. Um, I was actually even instructed on some other issues I will not be discussing today. Um, I don't know. Let's go to the audio recording, and I will provide you with audio recording, which will range from... January the 30th all the way to February the 15th of 2024. So I will be doing this stuff as I walk up and down the stairs to at least I get some exercise. The main idea was to get me killed sitting in front of the computer. And it was successfully done so next to many other issues. The main postal office in the city of the Nova Mesta, center of the city in the Nova Mesta, main postal office the date it goes to january the 30 january 30 january 30 2024 uh just before i continue with this january the 30 2024 uh i stated uh, main postal office and i am sure uh that it's not difficult to see that when it comes to the postal office, main postal office, this is the address right here. It's, uh, 
I'm going to close this stuff down. I don't want this to. I don't want any of this stuff here. It's not difficult to see that this postal office is everywhere. It's 8105. You cannot miss this postal office. Uh, I'm doing this so that you can see that this is not a, it's not a difficult thing to it's not a difficult thing to see. You have seen that's a map. You have seen this is the postal office. All right, let's do this. There is no way you can miss this postal office. This is big enough, isn't it? Uh, it's big enough. It's right there. This is giant. It's big. It's giant enough for you to see it. You don't have to be. Yeah, I have to be Einstein to. This this Google is getting on my nerves. Basically, it's getting worse and worse. Usually, you would get a map and this and that. This is a Naviturk. This one here now is going to give me this address, the map through the map. That's the way I want. Basically, you can't go wrong about this stuff. If you see a Republic of Slovenia, that's a Republic of Slovenia. Uh, laptop also sucks. Uh, Republic of Slovenia right there, you see that's an administration unit. That's why that's, it needed to be five laptops was destroyed. So I would get to this one here and so on and so forth. That's how it works. That's how it all operates. Stolen, destroyed, vandalized and so on and so forth. Right? Broken uh, by the police. By the police. Uh, what you see here... Um, is in front of the administrative unit, normal master. Administratia, that's where you would get your driver license, absolutely, cars registered and everything. You can't go wrong with this fucking building here. It's big too. You can't go wrong with it. Let's go with this. So, going to the beginning again, um, I do. I do want to go from beginning that somebody's not going to have a conspiracy theory or whatever. The center of the city in the north. So, main postal office, the date it goes to January the 30, January 30, January 30, 2024. <laughs> Uh, basically, a glue arrived. A glue that I waited for a very long time, and which uh, description, everything, all the data, all the information you can see in this post here. It was a glue that came 
a uh, long, long overdue dual glue uh, is basically what I got on January the 30th of 2024. Uh, the glue was totally fucked up. I have posted the, the video here. Um, based on MT Ultra instructions, I have come to realize upon so expiry date is on one detailed with every glue detailed investigation as you're going to pay attention to that video right there that uh, the date the date where the glue should be printed out was actually erased from the tube and the only thing that appears on the tube is you can't even see the fucking glue anywhere. I mean, the date when this was manufactured, expiry date or whatever. Uh, I had to pay a special attention to get it done, to see one. And it's what I was instructed by the psychiatrist, Peter Kopsch, would be an old glue from 2016, is what he claimed me the glue is going to be from 2016, 2017. It's where the glue is going to be. Uh, showing me the tube, showing me the stuff, uh, claim me that it was the way they got it, uh, and that kind of stuff. And really, I'm not even sure if the glue is 60 grams as it was advertised, uh, and not less. Uh, because psychiatrist Peter Kopsch insisted it would be less than 50 grams. And when I threw it on the scale, it rather really did look like that. What I managed to get out of that glue, when did I investigate one again? Because I didn't know what to do with this, and I still don't know what to do with it is the number that is printed out whether they have used iron or whatever the fuck they used that suggests uh, 2023 what is this 2023 is this when we was manufactured was it when it's expiry date what exactly is it when the glues are expired they don't perform the best the glues usually come with one year uh, durability. So the truth is that this glue did not arrive accordingly with my order. I ordered a glue, a new, obviously a new fucking glue, not a used one, not an old one. And uh, this is what they have delivered me. You have to watch the video yourself. So this was the delivery of January the 30th of 2024. Um, those are so Prozatrošnju <laughs> A drugo sem pa to, e, precej bom rekel, da se pravi ne zrazem provokativno sporočilo, če še bi je tukaj prišel, a zastope. Drugo sem od tega prodajalca, tam je zdaj ekspresa, eno tako, tako, tako mi nekako deluje kot e, vodi tam, ne. Če še tu naj bi bilo že v petek. Da se... A, on a computer, that's not gonna be difficult to see. The 30 was uh, on Tuesday. January the 30 was on Tuesday. And the 27 was 
January the 27th was a Friday, you know? That was a Friday, basically. So, I tell the lady that the seller sent me a message how the watch already is waiting on me at the postal office. Let's see this message. Basically what that looks like. So they did you get entirely the idea about basically what goes on here. Get this stuff here. Um, this is basically when they ship one out. You can see right there, January 7, 2024. And then he sends me on uh, Friday, which is uh, January the 27, 2024. Hello, friend. The product you purchased has arrived. Please contact your local logistics supplier as soon as possible to sign for a set for a seat. Package number is shipped by AliExpress Standard Shipping, your package, and so on and so forth. Yes, uh, this is a strange number, uh, but, you know, AliExpress Standard Shipping always makes sure that is delivered. Uh, it's been a registered by the Chinese Postal Services. It's shipped. You're not going to get anything from China. Uh, that the Chinese government will go and they will register something that was shipped when in fact is not shipped. That's a plain fucking logic tells you that Chinese government will not go and lie about uh, shipping about shipping item from China. They are not crazy to go and do this. Uh, second, you have a Hungarian postal office. Actually, you know, if you provide AliExpress, uh, what what did I set just to you right now? Okay, let's see this here again. Let me see that stuff. Now. This is called AliExpress Standard Shipping, you know. And the company, it's called Skmay Store. This is a big fucking watch company, Skmay. And the Skmay Store, right? That's not what you would go out there. Uh, this is not a scammer. When I uh, purchase from the people, I always verify sellers. I don't just go out there and just purchase just from anybody. When I make purchase... I always make sure that I purchase from people that are, you know, reputable, that are, that uh, fucking exist out there. Otherwise, I don't go and purchase, right? And so this May store that you see right there, they used AliExpress shipping to ship me this item. Standard, standard, not economy or something, but standard shipping. And when you look at the tracking, the way this stuff went through, yeah, I actually had noted that it was, in fact, even the Chinese, uh, you see, export customs clearance started. That's a Chinese government. You see this? Export customs. The one who provides the customs is only a government in any country in the world. And so it arrives to the Hungary. It arrives to the Hungary. Uh, it's referred to the Hungary as a transit country. You see this here? Transit. Arrive to the transit country, leaving the transit country. Uh, received by the delivery company. Hmm, hold on. I think I made a, a transit country this year. Clearing customs, import customs uh, uh, mistake. Uh, import customs clearance, Hungary. That's where you have DDV. That's basically added tax on a value. If imported from non-European country, you're going to deal with this issue here. This is the one. That's a hunger. 
uh, arrived at the transit region, leaving the transit uh, region, country region, uh, received by the delivery company. I think that... Uh, uh, sorry, I really made a mistake. Import customs departed from customs. Hungary. Slovenia, clearing customs, import customs, clearance complete. We have a Chinese, we have a Hungarian government, and we have a Slovenian government. The custom customs, yes? Chinese, Hungarian, and we also have Slovenian. So what the fuck is the problem with this stuff? This watch is real. This watch is real. This watch, this package was shipped. That's what I'm trying to tell you about the seller, about the shipper, you can be 100% is real. It's not imaginary shipper. Uh, it's not just, uh, you know, that I would make a mistake and order this from somebody that is just, uh, uh, that does not exist out there, that is nowhere. It's this company here. Oh, let me see this here. Uh, May store, April 4, open since April 4, 2023. Hmm. That's a little bit surprising to me that this would be open since 2023. That is strange. That is a strange cookie. Uh, but... I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, or does it make any difference? To me, uh, it does not make any difference. It doesn't make any difference simply because it's a, it's a volume seller with a very high percentage of people satisfied with it. Let's see this stuff here. Uh, SME would have a problem with somebody who's got 4,600 followers and he's got a 95, over 95% 95 positive uh, feedback. Uh, I don't think I am uh, the one that... Uh, it goes into the category of uh, somebody that they would uh, go out there to scam. I simply do not believe so. So, uh, you know, I know that uh, custom reviews, one is actually from Slovenia, and it says here that the mode button doesn't work. Oh, interesting, look at that. Uh, December 2023. All right, well, we're going to see if the mode button is going to work on my watch. Uh, okay, so I don't want to go too far with it. I want to make sure that you understand that it was three governments that sent this watch. This is not imaginary watch. This is some bullshit seller. Or through, I did anticipate that the seller was much longer in the business. I definitely did. I am surprised about that. And I am actually waiting even on some other issues as it could have something to do with Slovenian police, which I don't believe so. But uh, it did open me a question right now in my head about uh, the delivery itself. This is a, actually, it's a really nonsense question. Three governments have inspected it. You went through the three customs. Let's continue with this issue here. It was delivered. Uh, it was received by the local delivery company in Slovenia on January the 16th. Uh, this is more than one month ago. Uh, if I see the customs in a transit country, arrived in a transit country. I'm really not sure about this here. Okay, 16, 15, 14. There you go. Something like that. All right. Um, out for delivery. I don't know why it took them three days to take one out for delivery. It must have been 
uh, what exactly was it? Uh, January the 16th, and then it goes to 2000, and uh, uh, January 19, it must have been probably Saturday, Sunday, whatever it might be. Uh, and then it appears and states that on January the 26th, delivery was failed. Now, I know that this is a horse shit. I know that this is a horse shit because it's impossible. Uh, January the 16th was Tuesday. So, what the fuck? Why? Why this kind of mistreatment? Uh, January 19th was Friday. What's happening here with this shit? <laughs> it's not normal. It's not normal. This stuff is definitely not more normal. Uh, January the 26th of 2024, not 2024, it says delivery failed. <laughs> delivery failed to the postal office, really? I To the, such a big postal office, they, they what, what day was it on, on January the 26th anyways? The January the 26th was Friday. Oh, they were open. They were open on Fridays, they're open, they're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. That's why I wanted to verify that information. Let's continue. Oh, there was nothing. Um, a glue for me on my name. Nothing from my mother is what they tell me at the postal office. Down below, I will give you the whole audio recording, just as you see it right there, if you want to verify that. And we go next. The next is going to be on February the 6th of 2024. I'm to go to the house of Anna, so I'm going the 6, 2024, I get stopped by the postal office in uh, what? Uh, February the 6th, February 06, 2024, main postal office in the city, center of the novel February 06, February. This stuff here, I'm actually going to go and delete. February 06, February the 6th, 2024. This is a city center of the Novel Mansta, main postal office in the Novel Mansta. Well, Posta 8104 Postal Office, February the 6th, 2024. Um, I always come, smile into the window, and ask with the patients, well, uh, hello, could you please check if anything arrived for me? My name is Bustian Ausitz. Uh, and or on the name of my mother, which is Ausitz Anna. So you will be checking for me, please, Ausitz Bustian or Ausitz Anna.
Za osu stanu? A red? Fino. A to je za njom. To je za moja mama, ja. Uh, the lady tells me it did arrived. It arrived for uh, Auset's Anna. Uh, I said, oh, wow. Uh, fine, great, thanks. I asked her if she needs her mother's ID. Uh, yeah. She uh, suggests me to sign for it. And uh, there was somebody already that signed on the machine uh, and the signature was still there. And I said, well, before you will have me sign, why don't you please do me a favor and uh, process uh, the person who was here before me? This is the stuff that also was included in MK Ultra. Uh, and so I said, I'm not signing also for somebody else or whatever. You know, I said to her, I'm not going to sign for somebody else. Uh, suggesting her some other issue that they might have. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe they got somebody else to sign for my package. Who knows what's going on? Put peace on Eki, I'm put two minutes in this. She clears the signature, uh, and I go and sign for the package. You have to put this up? Yeah. 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 For the channel. You signed that for, I signed it for, uh, what exactly have I signed for? I'm going to demonstrate to you once I complete this visit to the office on February the 6th, 2004. Uh, <laughs> uh, I thank the lady very much for her assistance. Ask her also when about about also when did this package arrived? Uh, she tells me you have it on the envelope. And so as I look the envelope, I see that uh, it was on January the 31st of 2024. Therefore, next day, once I have uh, picked up the item on January the 30th, it was the next day. What exactly was it? Well, this garbage here, this, this here, this fucked up stuff open one that almost fall apart to me once i got one in the hands scratched worn out basically i had to sign for the shit if you're gonna pay attention to this here that was worth about roughly one euro as interesting is 
I even got SMS for it. Um, I think, I don't know, you, you just got to watch this video. I think I got an SMS. I think I got a... Um, this is pretty wild. Uh, written on a paper that I have to come to pick one up. I think this is what it was. No, 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 no. I'm mistaken. It was another package like this. It was worth five euros. Then I get SMS, then I got a written invitation to pick up the package for the postal office and so on. But all right, this one that I had to sign for, that they made it so clear, I have to sign for what's worth. Together, the two items came in consolidated AliExpress shipping. Uh, the together they were worth at one euro and ten cents. One euro and ten cents I had to sign for. Yeah. Now this usually was the case whenever I was picking up items that were of value, I would not have to uh, sign for. That's what also the brainwash me to an MKL trade is going to be. Uh, frankly, I would have to go over the audio recordings to see what went on. Uh, I shouldn't even say that. Uh, this one here, however, obviously is the case that uh, it's, it's, it's bizarre. This stuff simply, simply, simply is bizarre. I would not have thought that I would have to sign for uh, one euro item, but, you know, that's got something to do possibly even with the uh, AliExpress uh, shipping. It came in consolidated packaging. No, well, okay, fine. Uh, Slovenian postal workers uh, play with my sanity in respect to these dates. Literally, they play with the sanity in respect to the dates. Uh, it's not the first sale uh, they were doing. They literally measured how long it takes for China for a certain item to arrive, ordering those items from AliExpress time and again, uh, and then playing with all kinds of scenarios to see basically how to make the combination that would be... Um, you know, uh, it's, 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 it's just the, the length of this torture. I'm 52 years old now, and having to view this shit throughout my life, my entire life, is just, uh, it's crazy. Like I said, you need shoes, the shoes are fucking stolen. You need fucking glue for the shoes, the glue is fucking stolen. You need a hard drive to save data. Uh, on the hard drive, uh, it's instead the backpack that arrives from literally the shipper that you order from, uh, hard drive, and so on and so forth. Uh, you order a 10 inch tablet, it's the H in that comes, old, worn out tablet, etc., 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 etc. It's without any fucking end. You purchase a new laptop for 500 euros, uh, it's fucked up laptop instead that comes, uh, that's taken to a local police station for examination due to violations of whatever was advertised, then appears was modified even more stolen, parts stolen from it and so on. You park your car in the Budapest parking lot, the car is stolen by the Hungarian government, thrown in a private parking lot where it would be hammered, basically. They take fucking hammers, just as they promised me the case would be during MKUltra, and they hammer, they smash, they break the car, 
uh, you have to pay 1,000 over 1,000 euros to get the car back and without the job and so on and so forth. That's what we are here for, is what the government says, right? That's how the fuck it works. Okay. Okay. Jobless looking for asylum across the Europe. And this is basically how they pay you for trying to stay alive. Lady assures me there's nothing else. I'm not even sure what is in the package at this point. I do what I was told I should. Did they record one inside of the postal office by the police before I even step out? And believing there is a watch in there seems to me very much not protected properly. Still, I go and I video record. Anyhow, the item was open the same day with the item from January the 30th I retrieved from the postal office and you can have all that stuff uh, where I presented you you can see here one on this page you can see everything about how that stuff went on uh, more than six days in seven days since the January the first all right, I am gonna skip this stuff. Just, just on the bottom, there is more than one. This is gonna be interesting. This is definitely January the 29, 2024. And so, evidence. In 24. Put it on. The seventh of two thousand and twenty-four. I again stopped by at the postal office in the center of the city, not not on the center. Therefore, February the seventh, two thousand and twenty-four. Big B. So, let's see how that goes. The next day on the seventh, I stopped by the postal office again. The same postal office. Look. Um, I asked the lady, I said, because I got used to this, uh, there was one time only I got this SMS and uh, even uh, I was informed at home. I did got another time, long time ago, on so that 
there was uh, something that I had to written message for me to come to pick it up at the office I received in the postal box. Uh, and so I asked her, why haven't I received the SMS? Why haven't I received the message in a postal box that would prompt me to go and uh, retrieve the package from the postal office? Uh, like you used to uh, the time earlier with that item that was five euros, those belts and stuff that you ordered. And she says, can I verify your phone number? Did you give the right phone number? Well, yes, I did give the, the right phone number. I did give the right phone number. Uh, I uh, really do not know what exactly the truth is. Uh, Slovenian police insisted that, uh, that somebody did modify the number. Somebody did change me one time. Not one time, but at least twice, the telephone number uh, at AliExpress. They did this, and it's what Slovenian police claimed that in MK Ultra, uh, it will show that at AliExpress, this individual would be fired and so on. It was the person who went ahead and modified you, uh, uh, your telephone number. But this time, yeah, this is what uh, they claim the investigation will show. This is what they claim it in MK Ultra, the investigation will show. So the, the one who did this stuff, evidently, obviously, are investigators, nobody else. The one who was doing this kind of stuff were investigators, police. I actually doubt that Chinese AliExpress or any Chinese seller or anyone for that matter would have absolutely anything to do with it. I still doubt about it. Uh, if there were people like this, not that I would be aware of. So far, I deem that the Chinese sellers, AliExpress, uh, were feared to me. Uh, anyhow, uh, Here's what the lady had to say on February the 7th, 2024, when I challenged her uh, about SMS, uh, some kind of, any kind of information I would be given uh, so that I would stop by and collect the package. She suggested to me, she said, well, uh, what is your telephone number? Is this your telephone number? And I confirmed. I said, yes, this is my telephone number. The telephone number, that's my telephone number. So. Mislim da je to moja. Ja. E, definitivno to je baš na slow tuki, ne? A ja, uh -huh. I pa nis, uh, moram pa pogledati. Bi se moram pogledati. Bom pogledal. V glavnem, če, če SMS ni pa šel, Če SMS slučajno ni prišel, ni prišel prav te, ne vem, nisem siguran, to je lahko nič, 7, 1, 2, 1, 1, ne, 1, 2, 1, 5, 8, 3, 8, 3 je moja številka. Ampak tu je moja številka. In tukaj prav te vidi, da SMS... Mhm, tako, na počno ležeče, na tukaj je bilo... Ja, ja, niti ne, niti ne. Predhodno sem dubil SMS-e, dubil sem tudi sporočilo in spisano res. E, od šesa. Ene firme delajo tako, druge delajo tako, ne? Uh, this is actually so fucking crazy that uh, it hurts me when I translate you this shit. Uh, I confirm, I verify the number, I'm so confused. I don't even know my fucking number anymore at this point. 
Uh, but I do come to senses enough to confirm that this is my number. And yeah, it's 07121 uh, It's just so much bullshit that I'm subjected to that uh, it's difficult to imagine this bullshit. Bobby was prosed, precocatera firma i to tako. Tudi red, da bi razumel, kdo je to v Sloveniji dostalo vam, da bi jaz vedel potem. Prosim. Pa vi, vi pa ne dajte nobenih SMS-ov, takrat se dobivate posilke. Moral bi biti, ne? Tako. Včasih je, včasih pa ne. Zakaj recimo v tem primeru bi bil ne, recimo? Aha, zaradi tega. Ja, ker jaz vprašam tu, ne, zaradi tega, ker predhodnje sem prišel tukaj, sem se tudi glasil in sem dubil SMS. Bilo je pošno ležeče, bilo je vse te stvari. Pa je bil SMS. Ne razumem, kako pravite? Ne, 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 jaz imam že dobro aplikacijo. The lady is asking me if I have the right application on the telephone that I would receive the message. So she is uh, totally, totally fucking around with me uh, by basically suggesting, hey, idiot, do your telephone actually have the ability to receive the SMS? And uh, I was laughing about that stuff to her, I said, yeah, I do. Uh, she tried to offer me some other SMS, whatever service would be, whatever she's, the fuck she's cluster fucking over there at the counter, uh, doubting me, basically, that I'm even fucking, what the fuck are you doing here at the postal office, idiot? You came to the postal office for what? What is your telephone number? What is your fucking, uh, do you have? Do you know how to receive the SMS, basically? Uh, this is the stuff that uh, is uh, best to act as insane, and uh, that way you stay alive. I tell her, you know, I previously got the SMS from you. you know, why the fuck you should ask me this question, I don't know. But I tell her, I got previously SMS. You know, since she's asking me about if I had SMS installed on my phone and stuff. Hmm. The SMS game, the game with the SMS, under MK Ultra demanded from me to let the go I run home, you know, I run home and make sure that you send the SMS uh, to your uh, mama uh, because uh, what we will do is we will make sure that before you come home uh, before you come home, yes, uh, we will send you SMS, yes, and uh, uh, you are not going to have the proof that we did not send you SMS. So I, uh, as soon as I get home, I make sure that on on uh, on uh, February the seventh. Yes, I make sure that on February the 7th, uh, I do send SMS to my mother, which I never do, really. I never sent her almost message, never sent her message, any kind of message. But on the February, on the February, uh, on the February the 7th, I do. So... You see that February the 7th, you can see it, February the 7th, that's a February the 7th. It's a little bit difficult to demonstrate you, that's a February the 7th. So.
That's a February the 7th. For this part, I was told it's going to even show the numbers from the people that were trying to reach me, which is going to be uh, the police, the postal services, and so on. And so forth. <clears throat> police stated, this is how they treated under MP Ultra. The address is Galauni Turk, or what the Novi Turk or whatever, 7, uh, Postal Office Unit 8105. You have to fucking call me for anything. It's a government postal office. What is the fuck the matter? You don't trust your government? They're open every fucking day till 7 o'clock in the evening. I don't know when they open, at 8 o'clock from 8 in the morning to 7 in the evening, Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday they are closed. If you don't know for directions of this postal office, if it's not big enough, God fucking help you. Don't fucking call me for it. Yes, <laughs> Thanks <laughs> Ne razumem, kako pravite? Ne razumem, kako pravite? Ne, 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 jaz sem že dobra aplikacija, se pravim, da jaz sem dubil od vas SMS-e prihodno, ne? Glih na to štegel, ko sem dobil, ne? Tukaj v glasu. The lady uh, asked me, once she asked me about if I have a proper application installed in the telephone, but I need the application. I confirm her, I tell her that I got previous SMSs and stuff from uh, from them. And she says, no, 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 you don't. I said, I'm going to show you. Uh, she says, no, 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 you don't have to show me. Huh? Uh, this is the number I was using. Uh, this is the number that you would send me SMS. She says, I believe you, I believe you. You don't have to show me. I said, no, I said, there is no dilemma. There is no dilemma, you know. Uh, however, I tell her, I do have a problem. I would be asking you these questions, you see, if there wouldn't be no theft, ongoing theft that would go uh, through your postal office located here in Novo Mesto. You know, she says, you don't have to show me. And I tell her, no, 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 don't worry about it. No, no dilemma. It's I am the one who have the problem. I wouldn't be asking you these questions if there wouldn't be ongoing theft inside of your postal office. Uh, 
I inform the lady. I tell her, you know, lady, this is investigation. This is why I am. Uh, I would like to show you the telephone and everything, so that. She says, okay. She says, okay. So I show her and I open the messenger that I demonstrated you earlier. And uh, I show her the SMS messages and I tell her the last SMS I got from you, from your Slovenian Postal Services, was on January the 26th of 2024. And I show her the telephone. So this is what happened on February the 7th, 2024, and that's why I demonstrated earlier how I actually, once I came home, I even sent SMS to my mother because they threatened me during MK Ultra, the so-called MK Ultra, if you want to call this MK Ultra. Okay, so you go and you rape a girl that is two years old or three or five or six or ten years old and that is what? MK Fukra? What is that thing? What's that? That's a Fukati Fuck? What is the name? How would you refer to that? Oh, well, if it's a Royals, they do that kind of stuff. It's the highest MK Fukra, Fukati Fuck, Fukra, right? It's not a rape, right? Is that correct? This is the case of pedophilia, hijacking, human trafficking, and everything that is listed as prohibited in underlined in the law, basically. This is what we are dealing with here, the nature of the crime itself. With pedophilia, one of the issues involving this stuff, too. For this watch, for this particular watch, Prince Charles, now King Charles even claimed he would come to the city of the Novo Mesto once I would gather all these proofs and as I would come to uh, the postal office to ask again inquiry, to make again inquiry about uh, where the watch arrived for me is where he would have people waiting to storm the police, basically to storm the postal office and outside of the postal office he would present me with a brand new watch like this. Well, I think, uh, I'm not gonna say that would be a mistake. The thing is that it was a mistake. Uh, it wouldn't make any difference, I'm gonna say. Do kratka ga stika je pršlo. Aha. Ni slučajno pršlo do česa tako. In tu je bo registrirano po drugo pošno številko. So lady goes over this SMS and so on, numbers and so on. Obviously it's working fine, I don't see no. But I would go out there and lie that I got the SMS and I deleted one and so on. Uh, eventually it wouldn't make any difference even if I would. Uh, why the fuck would I do this for? Uh, the thing is that for me, it doesn't make any difference whichever way it is. And Slovenian police worked really, really, really hard during MK Ultra. They insisted me to confuse, to fuck me, 
even to screw it does in my case it doesn't make any difference it doesn't, in my case it doesn't make any difference because that's why i said i come to pick up at the main postal office that's the main fucking postal office that's not a banana office that's a main postal office that's not a private government uh, uh, company or something like that it's a governmental postal office So many police, however, worked hard, I have to mention this, screw me also with that issue. Together with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, they started to insist me that if I would be ordering items titled to the main postal office, as where I would pick them up, they would do the bad stuff to me, you know, the items would not come and so on and so forth. Um, so he said, they said to me, you have to make sure that once you order, when you get the AliExpress shipping and that kind of stuff, you want to get them fast, because this is what the stuff they're going to be doing to you in the postal office. It was always about the conspiracy theory, always was a day, they will, day, 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 day. Nothing we can do. We're going to try to help, nothing we can do. It all, always was about day, Ljubljana. Uh, they, them, they, them, 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 them. You just make sure that you, you write your home address here, home, and that way you are going to bypass uh, office workers, the front office workers that you're going to be dealing otherwise, and they will have, they will must, because it would be the final destination. The final destination would not be at the postal office. But it would be at your home in your mailbox. So they said when you order through options such as AliExpress shipping, uh, just specify your home address and don't worry about it. I really, really fuck myself like this twice. I don't know how many times I specified twice or whatever. Then I came to realize what a mistake basically I had made. Uh, and that's why I ordered even a little bit extra just to make sure that never ever, whatever the fuck you're going to do, and they insisted me, go to the other postal office, go to the other postal office and order through them and so on. I did. Uh, the other postal office, if you watch that delivery, uh, oh, so they screwed me up. They did the same thing. They did identical thing, even worse. And they do this kind of stuff. They do this kind of stuff with the idea to redistribute crime. Because if you send to the same address, to the same address, to the same address, it makes a big pressure on employees. Because they're the only one doing that kind of stuff. They don't want to be the only one. They want to redistribute blame to other offices, to other police station, uh, stations, to other postal offices and so on. You get it? You get it? So, I don't have to do this shit. I am using a government postal service office, postal services that should be available to every Slovenian uh, or whatever person specifies their address at the postal, you know, postal restaurant, postal office. I guess you have to have the Slovenian, uh, like in every country, like in every other country, you, have to have, you probably have to have the address on official document that you present. So I'm not going to say that for any person from anywhere. I'm sure they're not doing that kind of stuff. So let's go and we'll continue with this kind of thing. It was all kinds of scams with bringing me to the postal office in Pernia, bringing me to the postal office in, forget about uh, Ljubljana and Maribor, but talking about the area. If you are going to go to the store to purchase the item, we're talking about stores such as Kik and Teddy, if you will go to Trebnia, we will fuck you. Uh, we will, before you will come, we will do this and so on. Uh, 
The same thing if you are going to work the postal office in Trebne. We will be there before you will come. We will fuck you in this. And how do you live in this kind of uh, environment when they tell you already for other cities and so on? All the way to the other side of Slovenia, that they will fuck you no matter where you go and intercept you and fuck you and, uh, and do all kinds of stuff like this. It's not easy, this stuff. Uh, it seems like that's exactly what they claimed. They got uh, their collaborators everywhere throughout Slovenia in every postal office. The only one who does that kind of stuff is the police. Make no mistake about it. So, in respect to SMS, which I demonstrate her, I don't know what the fuck is she talking about SMS. Uh, she is talking about SMS because of the issues that they mentioned. They hyped the MK Ultra and even contemplated to redistribute the fault for the theft, for the stealing, for the robbery, for vandalizing the property, utterly even through the telecom, through the Slovenian telecom, through the telemach, uh, Slovenian uh, operators, telephone operators, they were trying to solicit them uh, to falsify. They inquired during MK Ultra, actually, even if it's possibility to the Slovenian networking, uh, G3, G4, uh, mobile services, broadband services, uh, broadband uh, telecom services, uh, SMS providers, therefore, about the possibility they would or would not send me SMS. It was a hot, hot subject. Such a hot subject that I did just as they suggested me. Once I arrived home, I sent my mother SMS just to make sure, just to prove that my SMS actually is working. That's nothing wrong with it. So if they would send me additionally SMS, because this is what I was advised to do. If you will not do this, they will send you SMS uh, and it will appear on your phone under the different uh, day and so on and so forth. Well, my telephones have been, I anticipate, modified. But... Uh, the network provider who have to do this kind of stuff through the, uh, obviously, network, I don't think they can actually falsify that. What they were told during MK Ultra, it's actually not possible. During when they inquired about such possibilities, but they advised me still, don't take our word for it. Once you come home, send SMS to mother or somebody. And I did this just to protect myself. That's how insane this shit is. They got SMS and listen to Bill Nikia. Do you have a short break? A short break is for sure. Aha. We have not went to the last time 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 to the last Nameni na za ta paket. In ta paket namenjen za tis paket. Do you know what the lady says when I ask her about the SMS? She says uh, there is a possibility uh, that uh, mm, I don't know how to say the shortcut. Shortcut is basically when you kratki stick. Let's say that your wire uh, installation or whatever uh, burns and uh, there is no contact with the other end of the wire so that message will go through. Uh, in other words, they are blaming it. She said it's possibly that it was uh, technical difficulties that, was, uh, that it came to the technical difficulties and that's why you do not get the SMS. This old lady brought this childishly stupid subject on the picture again uh, according to MK Fuki Fucky if you want to call this MK Ultra I don't know 
call it MK pedophilia, call it uh, MK rape, call it uh, how do you want to how do you want to call this shit? Legalize the fucking rape. Listen to me. Listen, you psychiatrists and police. What you are doing is actually watching this program and not acting. Actually, you are legalizing rape, human smuggling, hijacking, abductions, pedophilia. It's not a problem, I promise you. Listen, just legalize it. Slovenia worked extremely, extremely hard for you to have this legalized. Once you're going to legalize, don't worry about me anymore. I will not complain. It is simple as this. And you can call this MK Ultra, you can call this MK Rape, you can call this whatever you want. It's okay. Just legalize it. Katerga za katerga sem tudi moral podpisal. Ker drugače za te stvari so spoh ne podpisujem, ne. Jaz sem podpisal za dva ta paketa, ne. Jaz sem podpisal za njega, ki je bil vreden 5 evrov, ne. Tega sem pa, za tega sem podpisal pa včeri. Ampak tu sem hotel vprašati. I assigned, I asked her why do you send these SMS messages and all this stuff. Uh, I had to sign for the packages that were practically not worth anything. And the package that there are expensive packages, I didn't even get any. Uh, actually, I got some, but uh, there is packages that are missing. And this watch is, actually, this watch is of a higher value than any other package that I ordered. So... You make me sign basically for a package that is worth five euros and the package I still have not opened. No, I did not open. I refused to open the package on February the 6th. I did go the next day to the postal office again and I wanted to know who sent this package. Who was the sender of this package? How this package got here? Uh, it Eventually, it... it uh, it became clear the package was worth just as I suggested here on this on the previous I already suggested you there were two of this flash uh, USB flashlights inside inside of this package that were worth uh, old worn out scratched uh, worthless useless garbage basically somebody already uh, one literally have fallen me apart in my hands Word total one euro and ten, and I had to sign for this one. But for the packages that are sent, uh, and um, you know, I want to know about something else here, right? I want to know about how. Uh, This was sent through the China Super Economy Global. This was sent through the through the through the uh, 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 Super Economy Global services. China Super Economy Global. Okay, this year it was worth together. It came as one euro and ten cents. I'm actually not sure because. This information could be false, could be wrong, because it did came in one envelope, both of these items, you know, both of these items, and I did make sure that I ordered from two different sellers. So I don't know, was it really sent through the China economy? Both of these items arrived, as is evident from here, both of them arrived, uh, and I'm still not sure whether it was not through... Uh, you know, AliExpress shipping. I don't know. I know that the total value of both items added to one euro and ten cents. Okay, sixteen cents, and I had to sign for it. 
Both of these items were ordered on January the 12th, 2024. Both of them indeed, yes. First to AliExpress shipping. That was definitely by the AliExpress shipping that was done. Shipment of this watch, which took place already on January the 7th, still did not get. Still did not get. Now, they started to fuck with this watch. Uh, it became to me of a specially sentimental value. The more garbage they involved in MK Ultra, I would refer to as a clusterfuck, torture, abuse, uh, the more I became motivated and determined to come to an end to this bullshit. That's why I don't let go. That's why I didn't let them go through. That's why I would not let them get away with it. This was the reason why I keep the pressure on them. Alternatives are in double SMS, in double. Double is in peace and respect. All such things are in double, right? How does one approach it? Ja, ampak danes, ko sa tukaj odspredi, pogledat, ne? Tukaj, samo tukaj odspredi, ko pogledala, ne? Ja, samo se počno ležeti. Se pravi, vi pravite, da tukaj pred vami, pred uradom, sele, ki je tam, je... Puk, zdaj, ki smo tukaj nor. Ne za vami, ampak na vaši, na moji, kar bodo v desni strani. Vi pravite, da tu je za mene, tam se nahajo stvari, kaj je za mene započno ležeče. Tu se tu pravite. Ok, se pravi, zame, ker se gre stvari, počno ležeče, niso shranjene za vami, se pravi, v sobi, ki je zraven, te sobi. Aha, a, odvesno kaj je. Tu pa sprašujem zaradi tega, ker je psihijatr Kapš, ponovomeštva policija, tukaj z vami terorizirali, se kako bo prišlo iz psihiatrije, čakaj malo, iz psihiatrije, pa iz sodstva zame tam, na ti smo oddelko. Zaradi tega te stvari sprašujem. Sem vam zelo hvaljeno. Ok, so we go to this issue here. However, it is allowed to record from the outside. And this is something police did not know. She checked this side here which is this side here, and there is just a wall. Uh, what front what office, this is a front. Would be solely reserved for the letters I would receive from the court, from the police. Uh, psychiatry, psychiatry uh, and go. so on. And so therefore she did not check the area where she should have checked. Um, that was the area basically behind her. No, because she was right room there straight, and there is a room behind door behind yeah. that she should go and check she did not. Yeah, it is not. Not that she should go. This was the instruction from the psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. Uh, he had all kinds of instructions, brainwash going on, playing with this stuff. But it gets really interesting when the employees start to claim after a challenge, she was not the first one. I read the challenge with the same issue other employees about where the packages are stored. Uh, and they keep changing the story. Sometimes they come up with a story like she came up with today on other occasions. And for what they claim, you're not going to get the watch till you're going to play us those recordings. But I have to go and find those recordings. A package is solely would be stored in the back room, not in the room at the lobby, but in the room adjacent to the lobby, in the rear and back, if you like. So, let's continue with recording from February the 7th of 2024. Mm -hmm. Tu je v bistvu, še zmerjamo vprašanje tukaj, 
Кудо я писал эту пошту? Чем мать по великой людей, чем припичен, где мать еще садеру, за то, окей? Не, 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 А саму выдвести? Ага, окей, если дефинитивно вы не бы заморегал с теми стороны, не? I'm still trying to find out how this package came to them. Uh, I don't really know what is inside of the package. I am actually assuming at this point it's actually a watch. The watch, however, if it was the watch, I came to realize uh, must have been extremely, extremely not really protected. And I was afraid that when I'm going to open that package, there will be a nasty surprise awaiting me. Uh, so I really, before I even opened this package, I wanted to know how this watch came. I did that I had to sign for and it was only worth one euro and ten cents. How this watch in a parenthesis, how did this watch came? Who sent this watch? Who was the person who would not send even SMS, basically? Who not even bother to inform anything about this? This is the item I picked up the day, uh, the day earlier on February the 6th. However, I'm going to repeat, I returned back on February the 7th before I would even open one to learn as much information as possible before I would do this. Uh, Ви нимате на бенга не можете поведеть до тоа да сваат по слов. Преко кога сум тоа добив, до еван тоа да сваат. They have no information whatsoever, none whatsoever. Ja, kada je pre vas je vedno preko pošte Slovenije, pa vi bi morali me jaz, ker imate na tem SMS-u, kjer ga se dobil 26-ga januarja, tam imate lepo napisano to, da se da vaši pošti sledi, zaradi tega, ker mi noš se postreš. Moje vprašanje je bilo zelo napravno, kdo vam je dostavil ta paket v Sloveniji, se pravi pošti Slovenije. Kdo? Katera? Vi mene ne razumete pro slovenijsko že dobro, ne? Bom še enkrat povdaril. Se pravi, mene zanima informacija, kdo je pošti Slovenije dostavil ta paket v Sloveniji. To me zanima. Ker imamo pač ena je one express, ne? I ask her a question, she already gave me an answer, and I would not acquire for that answer anymore. I would try to get some more answer out of it. I ask her a question, who delivered this package to you? Who was the company that delivered this package to you? Uh, I had to ask this question because she already answered me partially the question with, well, it was to us here, uh, workers, it, it's uh, Slovenian Postal Services. We work for the Slovenian Postal Services. I said, well, okay, but who delivered this to the Slovenian Postal Services? Which company delivered this to Slovenian Postal Services? For me, it would be interesting to contact uh, this company and find out basically the truth behind this item. It would be interesting to find out about this. This is actually Economy Global that I had to sign for. That's interesting. For Euro 10, interesting. Uh, but then again, as I said, the two items arrived together. The two items are together in what is AliExpress shipping. Uh, through what usually are consolidated AliExpress shipping methods. And that happens if you buy a lot from AliExpress. AliExpress makes a promotion for you. Uh, and you would be entitled to the faster shipping. Uh, shipping at discounted rate. Uh, which is a quality shipping. Uh, it's just... It's just fucking weird that I get all this stuff like this and I don't get uh, the item that I was promised all kinds of scenarios for. Slovenia, ne? Pa mo tis PNT, pa mo različne privatne zasebne, se pravi, dejavnosti pošne za Slovenijo, ne? Mene zanima, ker kdo je bil ti, ki je vam ta potek, se pravi, pošne Slovenijo dostavil. Jezus, gospa, jezus ne očem moče. Ne gledajte na kako, no. Res. Ja, in to je prišlo iz... Ja. Iz Maribora je prišlo? Ja, to je pisa. Aha, v Mariboru so sprijeli to. Aha, ok. Maribor, da je 
vi nimate za tega vprašan, ker v vašem sistemu je napisano sredveni pošto je mogoče v vašem sistemu. Jaz tudi lahko sam pogledam, vem, ampak bi vi lahko pogledali, da je to vam dostalo v Mariboru. Samo Maribor piše, ne piše na brzo. This package arrived through the city of the Maribor. They don't know any information about who delivered this to the Maribor. And she also told me this is the... The tracking you can use at home and you can learn about who delivered this to the Maribor. So this arrived through the Maribor. It was delivered to Slovenian Postal Services. For me, for my dilemma, if you ask me, uh, that's just another proof about abuse. This question is just already uh, answers what this tells me basically is that, let's see this stuff here. What this stuff basically tells me is that, eh, actually either of the two, because the two traveled together, supposedly they traveled together, you know, supposedly they traveled together, we're gonna see now. Let's do this again. We're gonna do this one, and we're gonna do this one. This is this is very easy to see what's happening. This is the first item, and I will close now this year. And then I'm gonna also use this one here to see this. And these are the two items. Uh, you see, it was sent by the AliExpress standard shipping. And the other item, uh, obviously the AliExpress promoted it, and the other item was sent by the <clears throat> China Economy Global, Global Express Tracking. Uh, actually, no, both items, AliExpress standard shipping, I did not pay attention to this, I, I don't know. Really, for 50 cents and for 60 cents, that you would send this from uh, 571098. These are two different packages, if you pay attention to UA161021, bam, 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 71, and this one is UA198HU, bam, bam. However, they were in one envelope. And for the first one, it says it was sent. Mm, that doesn't matter, really. Uh, the difference that's going to come to the difference definitely is here. When it says export customs clearance started, and it says here it was the January 19 at 6.49, Six forty-nine. That's basically a, a, one package. Clearly, one package because the two packages clearly traveled together with one another. Clearly, they traveled to one another, uh, and so <clears throat> all I all I got to do now is basically go here, take this information down, and you can see that the two are matching one another just like this 2348 is the same time that was entered uh probably in slovenia no, i don't know probably in slovenia so this traveled together there is no doubt about that uh and delivery failed uh, on january the 31st of 2024, the delivery failed. That's not really possible. We all know that. That is the stuff that's not possible. 
uh, at the same time, yeah, because it was in one package. If you remember, this uh, shipment it was in one package. <clears throat> when you tell me that it was a Slovenian postal services that received this package in the city of the Maribor. We're going to take a little map here of the Slovenia. This is the same company I have picked up the package from. Then, in that case, you do have the problem. Because in this case, the Novo Mesto, which is here, I received this uh, package from another part of the country. It's called uh, Maribor. I'm not going to be dealing with that browser anymore, or whatever it might be. They did talk about how they're going to hack me browsers and all kinds of stuff. But then on the other hand, that's why they destroy you, break you the laptops. So whatever the issue might be. Uh, you're talking about 200 kilometers, maybe less distance if you go through here is what they suggest here. This is like the fastest way. Uh, but uh, it still takes... What is it? How long? Two hours and seven minutes to make it here to the city of the Novo Mesto from Maribor, which is closer to the Hungary. There is a Budapest right here. So what that means is that if you receive this in Slovenia, and she stated that it was a Slovenian postal services that received this in Maribor, but then how the fuck that you, as a, as a worker of the Slovenian Postal Services, you, you failed to deliver the, the package to the Novo Mesto? I mean, come on. Is it like a different, uh, what the fuck is this here? Maribor, uh, Posta Slovenia, Postal Services, Governmental Postal Services, Slovenian governmental postal services in Maribor or Ljubljana are still the same company as Slovenian postal government postal services in the Novo Mesto. That's why I ask you a question, who delivered you this? Where did you receive this? And they received this in Maribor. Who did? Uh, uh, and she stated to me, Posta Slovenia. We did. You, you did. You received this in Maribor. Okay. And so, then, in that case, you're not lucky because you wrote down here that on the January 31st, it was an unsuccessful delivery that you have made. So we have a problem. You did not send the SMS. You did not, uh, you had a problem making a delivery with your own company to this location. What's going on here? What's happening? I'm actually asking myself, who the fuck I signed for? Because the item is only one euro and ten cent worth. Uh, yeah, maybe I really did for the right item, signed for, but it does not sound good, this stuff. This stuff doesn't sound good. This stuff does not sound good. It doesn't sound good. And I have listed every item, absolutely everything on the internet. Everything is under control. She already answered. She already answered me. She answered everything I needed to hear. Yeah. Do you also Mm -hmm. Okay, two points on there. Two points on there.
Jūs jums mīsus arī o tīs gan pušiņāsiņās, ka prāc, ko gan spējamēt, ja nosatītu uz tīpēc ar podātkē, ka prāc, dojiet to, ka šīs kaut gan pošķi suvēnīt, bet prāc, tu mēs jūs mēs jūs arī zumēt varētu daudz, ne? Ok, tu mēs jūs 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 mē Tāda šī vilka poša tūkai, kad viena SMS, kad jau nesam dūbū, bet tāpēc tā jau nesam dūbū, tāpēc tā jau nesam dūbū, tāpēc tā jau nesam dūbū, tāpēc tā jau nesam dūbū. Pāla vēta vam, tā jau nesam dūbū, jau nesam dūbū, jau nesam dūbū. Now we'll actually even delete this stuff here, this is the message of their site. And I think they'll arrive. Nu, ka tērga? Sērni drogi, 2004 reizes. Jūs sakājat, jūs Pieter Kāps var šo šora bauti. It is gonna go and I'm going to make this short. There is the date the lady gave me. I came back to the office to get the date. I'm gonna cut that stuff and can we continue? From February the 7th we go to my visit at the postal office, which took place on... Dokosti. Dokosti, I was told it's going to be a bone cancer. Involved in it. Dokosti was idea, a restaurant, uh, to the bone, to the bone, delicious food, basically. To the bone, which was explained to me that it appeared. They have that written on all the cars, delivery cars. Uh, to the bone. To the bone is the name, and they have some food, it's to the bone. Uh, these people participated and maliciously suggested with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, police, how, <laughs> um, you know, it will be a cancer, a bone cancer, a bone cancer to the bone. So, we just go from February the 7th, we go to the next. February 9th, February 9th. 2024, February 9, 2024, again in the city center of the Novo Mesto, the main postal office in the Novo Mesto city, 8105. February 9, 2024. <laughs> Ka bija vila, ko prosim pogledat, če kaj zame sa šel poštite. Oziroma za moje mamo, a se cana bi bila, ali pa, a se z boštjami, s tujim. Tako kot vedno, hvala lepo vam, ko ste prijavili. No, benga je se mesa, niti je vrstila, niti če. I am very, very diplomatic. When you will go over this audio recording, you will just see how diplomatic I am. I'm not getting in any kind of arguments, anything like this. I am just... Like they say, to the bone. I am just official. I am just uh, there to do my job, to document absolutely everything, to learn as much as possible about these packages, and in return, always thankful for their assistance. The lady goes and look for my package. I give her my in my mother's name. Ker včasih ste mi rekli, da je tam odzadej, za sesednji sobi. A zdaj se je spremenil, da taj tudi spremenil. Tu pridejo take spremenbe, ne? Občasne, ne? Kaj se je tudi? In dnes smo pa... Oprostite, kaj tega smo dnes? A, 9. to je moje srečno številka, 9. februar 2024. Aha, ok, hvala vam. This is again the same thing. She would not go and look in the rear, in the back room, only up front. And I think the same situation was also with a recording, which I took place on January the 30th, February the 6th. February the 7th, 
uh, all fucking recordings and many recordings even before that because I have arguments about that stuff. I wanted to uh, clarify this issue about what they have going on with psychiatrist Peter Kapsch with the police inside this post postal office uh, engaging in a terror how I will be and they terrorized a lot. You have no idea what I have gone through inside of the psychiatric hospital, how the hell that was. Uh, when they poison you and cause you damage on your liver, on your kidney, and then you get to eat the psychiatric pills. What kind of pain that produces, the injuries that I suffer from within, uh, is actually impossible to even explain. She assures me on February the 9th of 2024 that there was nothing for me. It's, 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 she comes back and she just says, uh, is nothing. Uh, the other lady, you can hear her, is coughing all there like crazy. They're laughing at me. They're totally ridiculous me. They're totally laughing in my face, basically, in my efforts. Attempts I make to redeem my packages. There is a load of packages that's been stolen. They are missing. They've never been delivered. She says, there is nothing, and I'm very humorous. I, when she says to me that there is nothing and the other lady is coughing, I said, don't be, don't say it's nothing. In my case, that might not be exactly nothing. I tell her, it could be something. In my case, that's actually good when it's nothing. Let's see then. February the 13th, 2024. February the 13th, 2024. I stopped by with the main post. I thank the lady before I leave, and I leave, and this is what happened uh, today. Today is the February of February the 15th, 2024. Postal office again in the city of Nova Sorry, February the 15th, 2024. Uh, biggest postal office, main postal office, February the 13th, 2024. I am wrong. This is February the 13th. All right, sorry. This was two days ago, Monday. Right? Actually, Tuesday might be. What was the date? Tuesday. It was the Tuesday, uh, February the 13th, 2024. Four. <laughs> So again, I gave her, I give her my name, I give her my mother's name, my other lady. Seriously, they're thinking seriously there is nothing. And, uh, yep. Okay. Na pošto ležeći bi bilo, ja? I kad ste pogledali, sam kleo tu predi, za to upravo. Klema, te odsprede, ne? Aha, ok. Vese kaj sem mešala, te so prate. Tega smo ide nesli za prosim. 13. februar 2027. Pustni dan. Hvala lepo vam, svidem. I ask what day it is. She gives me February the 13th, 2024. Of course, nothing. Thank you very much. Bye bye. It's a day of the masquerades. I joked with the lady. It really was a day of the masquerades on February the 13th, 2024, two days ago. And again, I appear on February the 15th, which is today, 
February the 15th of 2024. February the 15th, 2024, it is again main postal office. Roughly 8.30 in the morning, February the 15, 2024. If you would be so nice, please uh, kind and see if there anything arrived on my name, Alsis Bustan or Alsis Anna. Just always the same thing, same question, I repeat the same question. Nečni prišlo, kaj pa tam v vaši sosednji sobci, nima se kaj mora da kašem. A zdaj se je pa obrnilo, zdaj pa obratno ratalo. Se pravi, da če je od pošterja, pa gre se v sosedno sobco. Hvala lepa vam, očidem je. The lady makes it really, really clear now. She makes it completely, completely clear. Uh, she suggests that if there is uh, something to sign from the court, from the police, from the psychiatric hospital, etc., etc., uh, she doesn't mention any of this. If it's something to sign, however, that's what she mentions, it's in the rear, it's a room in the rear, because I warn her, I tell her, again, you have only searched the front area, and you have not visited the area in the rear. And she says, no, that's only when there is something to sign. And you would know if there is something to sign, because it's always delivered to the mailbox. Yes, we do have a mailbox here in this house. There is a mailbox here. Uh, actually, I'm trying to say, uh, the mailbox always was here. Uh, it's not new. It's uh, where is it? It's here. There you go. It's mailbox. If you like, yeah. If you want, all it takes to put inside of the in Germany brief custom. P.O. Box, Poshtin or Biralnik, but they don't feel like it. No. This was it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know if I came to the end.
Sumo prašo bojo še prosim, katerega pa smo danes? Hvala lepa vam. Danes, danes smo pa danes. Danes, today, is what I ask her. She stated, we are February the 15th of 2024. That's what we are today. Do you know what is in my head right now? A blonde lady that worked at the front here at this postal office, they would deliver me to her. I would go through this stuff during MP Ultra. That's what they would be doing. That's how the abuse would be taken. Postal office was, uh, after this house here, postal office was uh, the building, the city building that where the torture would take place the second the most. And they, they this lady, the blonde lady, uh, would sit like this in front of the counter, this is here, you would approach me right now, and she would be looking at me, and she, she, she acted like stupid, like, like uh, like this. And I was I would look her, the police would be next to me, and she would act like, like, like a retarded at the window. And she would she would go she would go uh, earlier, earlier, earlier uh, suggesting me that the package delivery would take place earlier, not on beginning as I started on January the 30th with voice recordings on January the 30th of 2024, as you witnessed today. But that means uh, that I right now have to go over recordings and follow the instructions of to make any sense out of this fucking video i i don't have this one not this one not this one yes like this. The delivery attempt was unsuccessful, they say. I don't have to go anywhere. <clears throat> See this? I don't have to go anywhere. Look at it. Delivery failed. Delivery attempt unsuccessful. Ah. Uh, and uh, I do believe, however, I do believe I'm a strong, strong uh, believer that I did fuck Slovenian Postal Services most severely when I appeared on February the 7th of 2024 at the postal offices at the postal office you know February the uh, when I gave them a hard time this is this long recording here that you see this is this long one when I appeared the next day right on February the uh, 6th I picked up the, the item which were these two shitty lights here old used worn out uh, reflectors that they distributed me uh, and when i asked the lady where did this item come from who gave you this item the lady stated to me we got this item we slovenian postal services received this item in the city of the Maribor. From the city in the Maribor, obviously this item traveled to the Novo Mesto by Slovenian Postal Services, and this is exactly the item 
I had to sign for, and it was the item that arrived from the Maribor. So this here, this actually was this watch, I believe. It paid off to come back and ask about, because this watch arrives from Hungary, if you remember. So this was the item that actually fucked them. And the only thing they did is they committed a theft. They just wrote in the computer that the delivery was unsuccessful, just like you see it here. It failed. Completely, completely indifferent. Completely indifferent. Completely, completely indifferent from the other two items who also have received to the city of the Maribor, through the city of the Maribor, possibly, I would say, possibly, yes, possibly. I think they did. I think they were looking for the items that have the similar route, and then they would make you sign for certain things for others did not, which they also probably had to. Uh, to trace, to, to hide the trace, trace as much as possible. And what you see here, it's very similar way. It was out for delivery. This is here, January the 26th. Um, January the 26th. And it uh, basically what happened then, January the 26th. The same shit like this here. No? This one actually supposed that it was already out for delivery on January the 19th. But what, what, what exactly happened here? What, what is it? I mean, what's happening here with this stuff here? No. What's going on here with this stuff here? If you receive this in the Maribor, if you receive into the Maribor, in the city of the Mar, how come the fact that you did not uh, manage to deliver the same through the same company or the same company? You don't know where your office is in the city of the Nova Mesto? the fuck? What is the matter with you? Slovenian police went on to abuse even further and have insisted me during MK Ultra. Have you checked other postal units in the city of the Novo Mesto? They wanted me to go completely insane. They went, they, they demand, it wasn't only, it wasn't only Slovenian police that did this, but literally the postal workers of the city of the Novo Mesto. Something they have rehearsed in my face, brazenly rehearsed in my face, asking me on other occasions during earlier times, which is all audio recorded also, when I would come and inquire about the items, they would ask me, how about the other office? How about the other office? Like, like I'm fucking retarded, like I'm stupid. Like you specified it is delivered here. To this location. Mm, okay. Like it's delivered to to the city. Now here we are again. That's a really nice feature, I have to say. And all the time they were trying to create anxiety, all the time. With the father, uh, father is dead. Father, any time father will die. Uh, any time father will die at the home for elderly people. I was downstairs right now. Yeah. My mother left me a reminder. Blame me all along how I have to be silent about her or otherwise. I was just during the recording, I should have recorded earlier. She left me this here to remind me of basically hanging. If you will, I will just put you a jacket and so on. She, I probably managed to record 1000 MK Ultra. You will call this MK Ultra? Oh, okay, cool. A reminder of what went on inside this house with the police barricaded inside. All kinds of stupid shit that you possibly could not imagine. 
They fucking dare me. Sir, did you go to the other postal office? Are you sure that you specify this postal office? Did you go to check uh, our other units? If it was not perhaps delivered to you to some other place? The blondina, the blonde lady that was looking like, like this and would start to laugh. She looked at me through the window like this and started to <laughs> like this. I don't even know. I don't know how to make them smile like this, idiotic like that, like she did. This is, this is obviously psychiatrist Peter Kapsch dreamed about creating a, such an overload of bullshit in my head that my brain would just freeze and give up. Well, good luck with that. Uh, I'm going to say like this. Don't say it's nothing. In my case, it doesn't mean it's nothing. It do, in my case, it doesn't mean that nothing is nothing. Nothing in my case adds to a whole lot. Um, I is it this one here? It is. Uh, we have here one or two. January the twenty fifth, two thousand and twenty four. Delivery: Slovenian governmental postal service caught stealing. This is another delivery. There is another uh, another delivery like this. Uh, this is the January the 25th. But why the fuck am I dreaming about the Blondina who insisted that this item was, that I must go and look for other items, out, other audio recordings? I don't have to. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I mean, why the fuck would I go and do this for? I don't have to. It says here that delivery was unsuccessful. It appears that they don't know where the Slovenian Postal Service is. appears that it doesn't know where the Novo Mesto Slovenian Postal Services are located. Now, I would, but I don't have to. I don't have to go to the 25th. I don't have to bother myself with the 25th, even that I did this for you already, for the 25th. For the 25th, I already did. I have everything. I have, you have already uh, absolutely everything you have about the 25th. I presented you with the 25th already, not with the audio recording, but uh, what the difference does it make? I mean, obviously that you don't know where Slovenian postal services in Novo Mesto are located. It obviously, evidently to me, it looks like it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's too small or something like this. You don't know where this is. What the fuck can I do? If you don't know where this is located at, there is nothing I can do. What can I do? Uh, we don't speak Slovenian language, the same kind of Slovenian language. Well, you're going to have to resolve this issue. You wish. I'm going to get a result to this issue. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, please, under this uh, audio recording which I have provided for you, I will provide entire audio recording, original audio recording, just the way it was. So there wouldn't be by any chance some kind of mistakes and misunderstandings or anything like this. Uh, so that you can have the whole thing. So you can listen with your own ears, basically, what went on, how it went on, what exactly went on. I don't think anybody could possibly document better than I did. And keep in mind, video recording inside the postal office is prohibited.